<clears throat> First words of the day. What's up, Internet? Corey here, collecting with Corey. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday, because that's just how I roll. But I'm trying to hit the flea market at 5.30 in the morning. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a 20 30 dollar game. I think I've only seen it once at Game Exchange. Oh, this uh, scratchy Mario Kart Wii for eight dollars. Got my mobile here. <laughs> Getting the better games. Obviously not on phone. <laughs> It's almost 8 o'clock. It's Saturday, prime garage sale day, although it's supposed to rain closer to noon. Thunderstorms and rain. Leaving the sale here, that really kind of sucked. It was mostly just wood. Mostly just wood. Um, <laughs> heading to a sale that I've already contacted on Facebook. And in their pictures, you can see... I think it's 3DS Pokemon Moon. But when I contacted her, she said she had Wii and PS4 games. So I'm not sure if that means that they were open yesterday and the Pokemon stuff sold. But I'm kind of going to put all my eggs in one basket, which is something I would never recommend to anybody. But it's also mixed it. What's that word? Extenuating circumstances, something like that. Treat yourself cut that <laughs> uh, I kind of have other stuff I want to get done today um, well for instance I want to head to the Plainville flea market because they're opening up again today and I like to hang out with Sam for a little bit and also we have my goddaughter and I won't be seeing her tomorrow most likely so I'd like to get as much time with her today as I can so I'm kind of shirking garage sales for that reason but it's also like, there's no good clusters here in Connecticut, and I don't know, I'm just really kind of discouraged with garage sales in regards to how they're performing for me compared to thrift stores. And I should end this clip since I'm actually driving and I don't know where I'm going. Two more eggs in one basket sale. Let's see how this pans out. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you? We lost them out last night, so the French got a little bit moist. Pretty dry already. Yeah. How much are you asking on the uh, Goosebump books? These are moist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought the sun would be out and dry everything out. Is it still supposed to rain this afternoon? I hope not. I hope at least it's that until after we're done. Yeah. How much are you asking for the games? How much are you asking for the games? Um, um, well, so the PS4 games would be a little more than the Wii games. And the DS well, how games. Much? Um, so probably like two dollars a game. That's it? Are for the sure? Wii, but for like five five for the, the PS4. PS4. And then the And 2DS. that comes with six games. <laughs> and that's like two DS. Yeah. And it all works because yeah. he just touched I, I it and checked it, check it out and played with it. <laughs> it was how much for the Wii games? Like two. Can you go get a roll? Yeah, you get a roll of paper towels so we can just drive this 
Jones Drive at Sunset. Are those just the cases? Those are just the cases. Yeah, yeah. the games are in here. What? And you said 50 for the DS? Yes. Plus all games. Right. I'm definitely gonna get the stuff. Sorry. Keep okay. looking around though. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. Of course, it's locked. This <sighs> PSP. This. All right, we had some pretty good luck at the thrift stores. We saw we got the PSP Go black, needs to be charged. Hopefully, it's working. Screen it has a protector on it at the very least. Uh, assuming those scuffs might be on the screen protector. Uh, and then we got another drawstring Woody. Sold one of these for $17 last week. This one was only, I think, 50 cents. I think this guy gave me a 50% off on everything, even though they weren't the right color. Drawstring Woody does not have a working battery, it looks like. And then we got these two Microsoft Works 9 um, packages, CDs. They were half off also. Should have been $6 and... Ten dollars, but instead I paid nine dollars and some change total. So I think he gave me half off or something. I don't know, but those comp between thirty and fifty dollars, so not a bad deal. Let's take a look at what I was able to find on this Saturday. Went to some garage sales, literally two of them. And then we switched gears to thrift stores because I wasn't feeling it. Uh, a little bit was that after the first, actually after the second garage sale, we were in like a kind of off the grid area and I got lost for probably 30 minutes trying to get my GPS to point me in the right direction. Um, so we ended up losing some of the golden hour just with wandering around the lake, kind of. Um, which is unfortunate because I actually had messaged a couple of the garage sales in that area if they had video games. The one I got the video games at, uh, and then the one that I got lost trying to get to, or get from it was a VFW one that said they had video games, but I'd already left the area and I wasn't going back. Um, enough rambling. Let's see what I got today. Uh, completely out of order here. Uh, like I said, we did go to a thrift store. We went to thrift stores after the garage sales. I picked up a sealed copy of Lego Batman three for the Xbox 360. I'm going to send this in the Amazon. looks like someone bought it off of Amazon. Or it was a return from Amazon. I don't know. But it goes for about $21 right now. Paid five for it. Well, technically I paid six for it. Because they only take cash at the thrift store. And I don't handle change. So my extra change ended up getting thrown out or whatever. Just left it behind. Um, trying to keep my car clean. And one of the things that was really messing up my car. Was just all the excess change from like paying cash at places and getting change back. Uh, first thing I noticed when I got to the good garage sale that we went to, they had Goosebump books. Um, unfortunately, kids were younger, so they had newer Goosebump books, but they did have one of the old ones that I did not have, Ghost Beach. This is number 22 from the original series. And then I noticed they had 
Uh, three of them from... I don't even know what to call the series. They don't have any kind of numbering system for these. And I don't want to just like dig through and figure out what year these came out. But uh, A Haunted Mask, Night of the Living Dummy 2, and Night of the Living Dummy 3. And then I noticed that they have sub-series, um, Goosebumps Most Wanted. Uh, we got number tw uh, 10 and number 7, A Nightmare on Clown Street and The Lizard of Oz. Which, the Most Wanted series, based on these two titles, it looks like they're just kind of like puns of uh, movie titles. Like A Nightmare on Elm Street, Wizard of Oz, uh, then they have Goosebumps Horrorland, um, number 13 and 14, When the Ghost Dog Howls, and Little Shop of Hamsters. Picked them up. They were 50 cents each. I uh, ended up paying 60... 64 or $66 total at this garage sale. Uh, they had Wii games, Disney Universe, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Wreck-It Ralph, Kirby's Epic Yarn, and a disc-only uh, Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm hoping that's the game and not the... Yeah, that's the sword. That's the that's the game. That's not the uh, the music CD. That would suck if it was the music CD. Uh, then they had a 2DS, which is the red and black one. Pretty nice shape. Has the stylus. Has the charger. Uh, I was able to reformat it. No issues. The screens are a little scuffy, but you know it was, it was child owned, obviously. For games, they had New Super Mario Bros. Moshi Monsters, Katsuma Unleashed, Lego Chima, Lavel's Adventure, or Journey, Plants vs. Zombie, and Pokemon Moon and Sun. Uh, the main reason I ended up at this tag sale was I saw that they had on the table Pokemon Moon. And when I actually asked about the video games, because I messaged them on Facebook, they mentioned PS4 games and Wii titles. They didn't mention the DS, so I was a little worried that the DS stuff will have sold, would have sold, or that the Wii stuff would have just not been worth it. All right, so that was all sixty-six dollars. Hopefully, I didn't overpay. I don't think I did. Um, I haven't checked the prices on any of the Wii titles or the Pokemon games lately, but I assume that the 2DS is still going for about fifty. Um, the other thrift store we hit up today, luckily, um, had a PSP Go in their case for $40, which is honestly what I've been paying for these every time I found them. I found one at the New York flea market once for $40, it was the white one, and now I have the black one for $40. Um, this one's in actually much better condition. None of it is, like, scuffed up. Uh, it looks like it has a screen protector on it, so the screen should be in pretty good shape. Only thing it's missing is the charger. So I need to find a charger for it once again because I sold the other one I had with the charger. So I have to do that, see if it works. And the last thing I got, this new hat, Nintendo Power hat. Got this from Sam at the flea market at the crossing over in Plainville. Helps cover up how bald I am. Can appear slightly younger. Um, oh, another thrift store find. Oh yeah, I forgot about these other ones too. So, picked up another drawstring Woody. Probably dead batteries. Honestly, not gonna bother trying to replace them. Um, Maybe I'll go in there and see if I can get the dead batteries out just so it doesn't corrode. But 99 cents, better price than I paid the last time I picked one of these up and I got $17 for the working one. So probably a little bit less on this one. And then they had these Microsoft, I guess software products, uh, Microsoft Works 9. Um, 
basically just this case and the CD and they have the I guess the code or something on them I have sold products like this in the past and I'm always worried about whether or not they're gonna be usable but every other listing that's pre-owned is basically showing exactly what I'm what I have in my hands now unless they have miraculously never been used because they can only be used once kind of thing who knows I picked these up as I said earlier in the video they gave me some sort of 50% off discount at this Goodwill I'm not sure if it was a Saturday thing or what but the colors did not match up to what was 50% off so I don't know I uh, only paid nine dollars and like fifty cents for Woody and the two Microsoft products, and they go for between thirty and fifty dollars. Hopefully, closer to fifty. Um, that'd be a really, really good score on this Saturday, especially with not hitting many garage sales. Um, also, earlier in the video, it's actually out in the car. It's raining. You could imagine it. Maybe I actually have one here that's just like sitting around. I don't, but. I picked up a Mario Kart Wii at the flea market, uh, the same flea market where next week you'll see. It. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop trying to spoil Manuel's video because um, mine come out a lot earlier than his do. But he was right there next to me, um, picking stuff up at this guy's booth at the flea market. He got there earlier than I did uh, and scored a lot more. And I'm actually standing next to him in his video when he's recording his flea market pickups. So when you see the flea market pickups, when he picks up the uh, the the faded and poor condition Super Nintendo game, I'm standing right there. <laughs> so it's like, I got to see, I got to, I got to take that L in person. Um, but I did pick up from that guy, a Mario Kart Wii that was scratched up I paid $8. I have a resurfacer sitting right there. I'm not too concerned whether or not I can get it to work. I was a little annoyed because as soon as he like came over, I was looking at it. Um, he said, that one's a little scratched up, right? And I was just like, I was agreeing with him. And he, and he took it from me and he threw it into his car like it was trash. And I was just like, wait, but uh, I, I'll still buy it. I have a resurfacer. I can fix that. And I was hoping I'd get like a, you know, oh, give me two bucks then. Because, like, he was regarding it as trash. So, I don't have that much luck. So, $8 is what he was asking. That's what I ended up paying. Likely, we'll be able to get it fixed. Hopefully, it's weird. Now that, like, thrift stores are back and I'm, like, working my ass off trying to keep up with all this stuff. Amazon orders and eBay listings. Like, I almost just need a and day off at this point you know to catch up on stuff um yeah like i have a ton of games like the tripod that this is sitting on is actually a bunch of ps1 games that have to be tested so got a stack of systems over there and i don't even know if this is gonna make it out on time I'm not sure if yesterday's video made it out on time. Probably didn't at this rate because I'm still dealing with this simple transfer just being absolutely trash. It's absolutely trash. It literally took an hour to transfer over a four second video. An hour and all it was able to transfer over in that time was a four second video. The, the four seconds from when I, at the beginning of a video, when I show like how, what time it is and what temperature it is outside. Like that's, it took an hour for that. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even keep up with my, you know, posting schedule on, on YouTube using this program. But I mean, me rambling for an extra three minutes here isn't helping so like the video subscribe if you're new and as always keep it real internet wish me luck maybe i can get these videos posted i love you guys